psychology and psychotherapy, plus linguistics. When you look towards the right, we have physical, physicality, materialism, individualism. Look towards the left, you see logical, relativity, illimaterialism, collectivism. Look towards central, meta, metaphysicality, naturalism, distributionism. When you look towards here, this little graph, an illustration, plus example. It's all under this logical umbrella. And all of this is not real. But all supporters of realism, such as I, are just trying to be as realistic as possible. When you look towards physical, it is the most narrow-minded ideology out of the three. And then when you look towards meta, this is more of a genius route of metaphysics, where there's much over-socialization over distribution and exchange of interaction. The difference between physical, metaphysical, and logical. Towards the top of the compass is totalitarianism or autocraticism, to the left, idealism, or logicalism, to the right, realism, or physicalism, or is the bottom, propulsion, or individualism. So what we have here is theory versus virtuality versus spirituality. Logical is definitely smarter than physical. But everything meta is genius. A breakthrough. A field of study. Subject. Ideology. Or Eureka. Of centralization. Spherical centralization and helio centralization. Anti gravitationalistically, meta is metaphysicality, metaphysical, over metaphysical, and isationistically, a naturalism of distribution. And even though it isn't the biggest bubble in the umbrella, it is the most suitable for the fittest, smartest, or most genius individuals. These individuals are called collectivists that also engage in forms of physical, physicality. They are relativistic, but also anti-individualistic. So everything metaphysical is physical and logical in its own bubble, sphere, or ideology. 